song, I swear, affirm that the testimony you give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. <coughs> You may proceed. Yes, you may. Good afternoon, sir. If you'd please tell the members of the jury your name. My name is Andrew Gall. Mr. Gall, where do you live currently? Can you have him spell his last name for the record, please? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Would you spell your name, please? G-A-U-G-H. All right. Can I get you to scoot up just a little closer to that microphone? Thank you so much. Where do you live currently? I live in Deltona, Florida. In Deltona, Florida is located where relative to Sanford? East. East Sanford. And how long, approximately how long have you lived in the Deltona area? Roughly about 17 years. And how old are you? I'm 20 years old. Are you employed at this time? Yes, sir. Where is it that you work? I work at Renner Center. Yes, sir. Renner Center. And what is it that you do for Renner Center? I'm a customer account representative. All right. Let me turn your attention to February 2012. Were you employed at that time? Yes, sir. And where were you employed? 7-Eleven. What was your position with 7-Eleven? I was a cashier. And how long were you employed with 7-Eleven? About a year. Were you assigned to a particular 7-Eleven store in February 2012? Yes, sir. And where was that store located? Off of Reinhardt Road. Judge, if you could dim the lights just for a moment. Let me show you State's Exhibit 2. Have you seen that aerial photograph before? Yes. All right. Does the aerial in States 2 accurately depict the location of the 7-Eleven located off of Reinhardt Road? Yes. Well, I'm going to need you to turn them off one more time. That's up to the court. I've got just a, a few questions in between. Thank you. Let me turn your attention then to Sunday, February 26th of last year. Did you work at the 7-Eleven on Reinhardt Road that day? Yes. And what were your hours? 4 to 10. A.M. or P.M.? 4 a.m. or, sorry, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. All right. Was there anyone else um, employed at 7-Eleven working your shift with you? No, sir. All right. And was that 7-Eleven store equipped with surveillance video cameras? Yes. Do the surveillance cameras capture images inside the store? Yes. Are there any surveillance cameras outside the store? No. And have you seen footage of your store from the evening of Sunday, February 26, 2012? Yes. Specifically, have you viewed footage from that evening of a young man who purchased an Arizona drink product and a bag of Skittles candies? Yes. Were you working the register for that particular purchase? Yes, sir. Did the young man pay for those items with cash or credit or what? Uh, cash. Do you recall any conversation that you would have had with that customer? No, sir. Was there anything about that customer that caused you any concern? Nope. Did you know the young man who purchased the Arizona drink product and the Skittles? No. To your knowledge, had you ever seen him before? No. All right, you know, at this time I would ask uh, to publish uh, states 184. You may do so. And you just want, I mean, just, if you could just pause it right there. All right. Mr. Gaw, um, look at. Uh, the frame. Can you describe for the members of the jury where the cash register is um, on the screen? To the left. All right. Is it going to be this area that I've put in the semicircle? Yes, sir. All right. Um, what is at the front of the frame? What What would you see if you walk to the front of the frame? Candy, candy, gum, chips. All right. Is, is the front door also at the front of the frame? Yes. All right. As we look. In the back, is that the back of the store? Yes, sir. Okay. Is, and you've seen this before. Is the customer uh, that bought the Skittles and the uh, Arizona drink product the gentleman walking through the store right now? 
Yes. All right. Um, and the time, is that reflected uh, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Is the time of day reflected in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen? No. The 18-22-09, is that not the military time? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, yes. All right, and so that would be 6.22 p.m.? Yes, sir. All right, very good. If you would continue playing that. Mr. Gaw, is that you walking behind the register? Yes, sir. Mr. Gaw, it appeared that the gentleman who made the purchase picked up something off the floor before he left the store. Do you have any idea what that was? No, sir. Do you have any idea if he actually picked something up? No, sir. All right. Ms. Walter, if you could bring up one of the other camera angles. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gaw, are there multiple camera angles within that store of the register? Yes, sir. You have any? Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, on this camera view, is that now, again, looking at the counter? area? Yes, sir. All right. If you'd go to another one. In this view, is this actually from behind the counter, essentially over your shoulder looking out over the cash register? Yes, sir. All right. In the last one. And again, is this also a view of the area behind the register? Yes. All right. You know, that's all I have for Mr. Gall. Thank you. Thank you. Cross? If I might, I was going to have Mr. Gaw, I don't want to take part on the state's laptop, but I was going to have all four views shown, so I may as well do it now. Um, I probably know how to do it, but um, uh, if Ms. it's okay, Judge, Ms. Walter, be happy anything to goes it. wrong with it, I don't okay. want it to be my fault. Start from the beginning? Yeah, uh, we saw the first one, so if you start with number two, that'd be great.
Actually, if you would go to the, uh, I'm sorry, I would need to see this one as well. Thank you. Did you? Thank you very much. I'll be enough then. Thank you. I appreciate the help. If I might inquire on it. Thank you. Mr. Gaw, um, it's Gaw, correct, Mr. Gaw? Yes, sir. Great. Um, I note that in the beginning when uh, the person who we now know to be Trayvon Martin came in the store that you were towards the back of the store. Was there any reason for that? Yes, sir. What was that? I was doing the temperature checks on all the coolers. Okay. And then um, you came up to the register, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then after Mr. Ma Trayvon Martin went back towards the back of the store, I noticed that you went back around the counter and seemed to be either watching him or having a conversation with him. Do you recall that? No, sir. You don't recall why you would have done that? Um, I usually go to the back room after I take care of customers. In the video, you seem to not go to the back room. You seem to come right around the counter and stop where he was by that front cooler. You don't recall any reason for that? No, sir. Okay. Um, when Mr. Martin came up to the counter, did you have any concern over the time it took him to get the right change to get money out of his pocket? No. Do you remember any of this? No, sir. So when you say, when you mentioned a moment ago that that was Trayvon Martin who purchased the Skittles and the Arizona fruit juice, that you don't remember this event at all, do you? No, sir. So you're just sort of answering because you look on the video and if we tell you that that was Trayvon Martin and that that was the transaction, that you would concur with that, but you don't remember anything, right? No, sir. Okay. May I approach the witness for a moment, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. Sir, if you could just stand up and come out of the witness box for a minute. Maybe just right here. What type of shoes are you wearing? But say it out loud. Just uh, regular heels? Yes, sir. How tall are you? Okay. Presumably you were 5'10 a year ago as well, right? I'm sorry? You were the same height about a year ago? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. No further questions from you. Thank you. Any redirect? Just briefly. So the bag that you put the drink can in, would that have been a 7-Eleven plastic bag? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Judge, that's all I have. Okay, thank you. And Mr. Gall, be excused. You may. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You may be excused. If you'll please call your next witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Sean Noffy. truth and nothing but the truth so help you God. <coughs> you may proceed. Yes, you may. Good afternoon, sir. If you'd please tell the members of the jury your name. My name is Andrew Gaw. Mr. Gaw, where do you live currently? Can you have him spell his last name for the record? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Would you please? Thank you. 
swear or affirm that the testimony you give will be the truth, the whole. Were you employed with 7-Eleven? About a year. Were you assigned to a particular 7-Eleven store in February 2012? Yes, sir. And where was that store located? Off of Reinhardt Road. Judge, if you could dim the lights just for a moment. Let me show you State's Exhibit 2. Have you seen that aerial photograph before? Yes. All right. Does the aerial in States 2, are you? I'm 20 years old. Are you employed at this time? Yes, sir. Where is it that you work? I work at Renner Center. Yes, sir. Renner Center. And what is it that you do for Renner Center? I'm a customer account representative. All right. Let me turn your attention to February 2012. Were you employed at that time? Yes, sir. And where were you employed? 7-Eleven. What was your position with 7-Eleven? I was a cashier. And how long... Spell your name, please. G-A-U-G-H. All right. Can I get you to scoot up just a little closer to that microphone? Thank you so much. Where do you live currently? I live in Deltona, Florida. In Deltona, Florida is located where relative to Sanford? East. East Sanford. And how long, approximately how long have you lived in the Deltona area? Roughly about 17 years. And how old 